Hello, I'm Barry Collins, editor of PC Pro. I'm Darian Graham Smith, technical editor. And if you've been listening to our podcast this week, this is the Chromebook Pavilion 14, uh, which is our hot hardware of the week. And as you can see, it's a full size 14 inch Chromebook. We've seen several Chromebooks before. The original Samsung came in at around 13 inches. We've seen the Asus C7 a few months ago, uh, which was 11.7 inches. This is a full 14 inch of Chromebook, um, but it has several problems. The first is this keyboard. It's a really spongy, horrible affair. Have you tried typing on it, Darian? Um, I have, I actually kind of disagree. I think it's all right. I find it really rattly, really thin, one of those where you don't get any real travel under the finger, and then it's very thin and rattly. The, the other issue for me is this trackpad. It's a textured trackpad, as you can see, not like the smooth glass ones you get on more premium laptops. And the buttons make this really horrible clunk as you press them individually. Don't know about your thoughts on that. Um, I'm not that bothered. I'll tell you what I was a bit disappointed by is this screen. Obviously, it's a 14-inch uh, laptop. Um, I was quite disappointed to learn on the podcast that it's only got a 1366 by 768 resolution, which for a panel this size in 2013, I think is not that great. Yeah, it's a, certainly a long way short of the uh, Chromebook Pixel with the ultra high-res display. But it, the, the resolution's not the only problem with the screen. It's very flat in terms of colours. Colours look washed out, details iffy, and it's a horribly reflective screen. And as you can see from the entire base, which is made out of this rather odd black sparkly plastic, the whole thing is one giant reflection. Trying to work on it under strip lighting like we've got here in the studio, it's just awful. The reflections are constantly catching your eye. That is, as we've discussed though on the podcast, that is for some reason one of HP's signature looks. You find that a lot with HP uh, laptops. Performance wise, it's not too bad. It's got the regular uh, Celeron processor that you find inside uh, the Chromebooks. There's four gigabytes of RAM, which is pretty good actually for a uh, Chromebook. Uh, and it, it zips along okay. I had it yesterday running off an external screen on a full HD screen all day. Didn't notice any real difference on multiple browsers. Showing the battery though. The battery is appalling, unfortunately. This is a 14 inch device, as we said before, but if you, uh, you may need to help me unplug the battery to lock. <laughs> there you go. Uh, but as you can see, it's a tiny battery slice, and that gives you about three or four hours at most. And, and frankly, that's really disappointing for a device of this size. You, you can't understand why they couldn't put a bigger battery in there. Yeah, I, I see all this, but I still think it's, you know, for 250 quid, it makes a decent sofa PC, which is why I voted for it on the podcast. It's, it's a no for me, I'm afraid. You were reading the magazine on the website shortly. I just don't think it does enough.